The Supreme Court of Canada has said anti-gay flyers do constitute hate speech. And for those eligible, it's your last week to apply for a 30% tuition refund. Humber News starts now. Hello, it's Wednesday, February the 27th. Welcome to Humber News, coming to you from the Broadcast Centre here at the North Campus. I'm Julia Frizina, thanks for joining us. And I'm Katie Boyvin. Ahead on our show, we have all your news and sports highlights, as well as your five-day weather forecast. But first, our top story. The Supreme Court of Canada has ruled that a Saskatchewan anti-gay activist violated hate laws with some of his flyers. Chief Commissioner Judge David Arnott says it is necessary to stand up against hate speech. William Woodcott distributed four flyers to households in Regina and Saskatoon in 2001 and 2002, condemning gay sex as immoral. In a unanimous decision, the country's highest court found two of four flyers distributed by Woodcott violated the province's human rights code. The deadline for the Ontario 30% off tuition grant is at the end of this week. Many post-secondary students have already received their grants, but as the deadline looms, those who have not will need to act fast. Humber reporter Stephen Donkers has the details. Three weeks ago, Sarah Galati applied for the Ontario 30% off tuition grant knowing the deadline was March 1st. The full-time Humber student says it's not fair to have any deadline for tuition grants. It'll be unfair. I mean, what happens if someone's not, like, I don't know, not focused enough or to take the time to study, people have work, other family things at home. The Ontario Liberal government brought in the tuition grant after they won the 2011 provincial election. To be eligible for the tuition grant, you must be a full-time student at a public college or university in Ontario, have been out of high school for less than four years, in a program you can apply to directly from high school, meet the citizenship and residency requirements, and parents' gross income is $160,000 or less. Earlier this month, Progressive Conservative leader Tim Hudak said he and his party want to scrap the tuition grant in favor of a grades-based grant program. Simply put, the higher your grades, the likelier you'll be to get grant money. Hummer's financial aid manager says the PC's proposed changes could be an effective alternative to the current grant system. No, overall it won't be a bad thing to do that, um, you know, but I guess one program, you know, they have to cut one program in order to uh, implement another program. While the Progressive Conservatives are pushing for a different tuition grant system, the Liberal Party has fired back, saying that while the Liberals are still in power, the current tuition program isn't going anywhere. Stephen Donkers, Humber News. Pearson Airport has cancelled close to 300 inbound and outbound flights due to the storm this morning. Passengers are being asked to check their flight status before heading out to the airport. The storm also left more than 3,000 people in Durham and York Region without power overnight and flooded a few f major roads in Toronto, including the Gardner Expressway. The heavy weather system has begun to subside, but snowfall is expected to continue into tomorrow. A 17-year-old Toronto boy charged with manslaughter has been released on $100,000 bail. The boy, who cannot be identified under the Youth Criminal Justice Act, was charged in the death of 15-year-old St. Obney Rodney earlier this month. The boy is now under house arrest and has been ordered not to visit the housing complex in the Jane and Finch area where Rodney was gunned down. Police allege Rodney was shot inside his apartment and that the 17-year-old was a friend. A York Region police officer is facing charges for failing to properly investigate racial slurs directed at himself. The officer was called to a bush party in 2011 to investigate an accident. As a result of that call, a party goer charged the officer with discreditable conduct. In his written defense, Constable Damien Muirhead said he was subjected to racist comments, including one about lynching. However, as he did not officially report these comments, Muirhead has been charged with three counts of misconduct. People across Canada were wearing pink shirts today, taking a stand against bullying. Pink Shirt Day started six years ago when two grade 12 Nova Scotia students witnessed a fellow student being picked on. The victim was a grade 9 boy who was harassed and called a homosexual for wearing pink. The Sea of Pink campaign has become a symbol of strength in the battle against bullying. The campaign has received international recognition. 
A nine-year-old Brampton boy is making multiplication problems fun and easier to retain with the creation of his tea tables app. After a few failed submissions to the App Store, Tan Mei Bakshi's mathematical app finally made the cut. The app gives gamers various multiplication problems for them to answer. It then provides you with the total amount of problems solved and also splits them into correct and wrong totals. The grade 4 student is the son of a computer programmer. When we come back, we'll have more news from around the country and the world. Andrew Millichamp will have your sports news and Kelly Snyder will have your weather forecast. We were teased earlier with spring-like temperatures, but hit with another snowstorm. Is this snow here to stay? I'll have your five-day weather forecast after the break.